All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Hakadosh. Double honors unto our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who will much peace and blessings to all you sons of Akima. There is which is one hundred percent true, with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. With the real Hebrew Israelites, who come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. And with that, we're just going to go through the Spirit. Yeah, we're going to set up on it. So like, yeah, we're just going to roll through the Spirit, you know, and exalt our power, Yahweh, by Shema Shai. We out here to prophesy against Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is America, and, and, and then these other nations also, but mainly Esau and Edom. So we're just going to roll through the Spirit, whatever brother's got. Just that. Yeah. So, we out here to make our body a living sacrifice and do the will of the Lord. This book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. That's right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yeah, so this is John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. I get in the revelations in the, the Latin, in the end times revelations, and one one was uh, Babylon the Great fallen man, which is here in America man. Babylon Babylon meaning confusion because this place is full of confusion man. All right, Babylon the Great is fallen, but by two hundred million nuclear warheads. Also the laser fire from the chairs when our Lord Yahweh shall come. Because the same way he left is the same way he coming back in the so-called UFO and the chariots, man. Sure, he said this place is going to be inhabited by devils, meaning creeping animals, man. Desert creatures. Because this whole land is going to be laid desolate. You know? That's right. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Yeah, so the, all these nations have drunk of the wine, meaning the philosophy of America, man. All these nations make deals with America. All right, but the Lord's going to use those nations to shoot missiles over here, man. We in that time. We in the time of the end of Esau's rulership, man. You know, they drunk of that philosophy. They, they, they laid with her, man. You know, you got it, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundances, through the abundance of her delicacies. And all these nations, they made, they made rich because they get their money from America. Because America is a, a consuming country, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's how they, they get rich. They got rich off, off the, the, the labor uh, off America, man. You know, that's how they get their goods and their wares. That's right. You got the uh, New York Stock Exchange, you know. You got the United Nations over here. Uh, the nations, in order to trade for oil, they have to use what? The dollar, right? you know? They don't trade in gold, they don't trade in silver, they don't trade in any other currency, but they trade with the dollar, man. Right. You know, America fits the bill 100% because America is Babylon the Great. That's right. You know, no, no question about it. This is Psalms chapter 137 and verse 7. O Yahweh, or so I can remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. That's right. This is when the, the Babylonians, when they came in to, 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 to destroy the temple, Esau was there right, to help them, man. He said, Race it, race it, meaning destroy, destroy. You got it, brother. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's linking Esau to the daughter of Babylon, man. That's how you know that Esau is ruling is ruling Babylon right now. Babylon the Great, which is the daughter of Babylon, you know? Right. Yeah. It, it, if I may say, you, you had a, uh, when, the, when the Babylonians, uh, you know, uh, sacked Jerusalem and, and uh, destroyed the temple, the Edomites is right there, you know, ruling them on, cheering them on. And today these modern day uh well today these edomites today over here uh first and foremost in uh america they take on all the philosophy of of those ancient babylonians all right so the most High called them the daughter of babylon okay that's how we know that when we read revelation 18 that uh babylon who art to be destroyed I mean the future prophecy is talking about america all right you have all type of Babylonian worship over here, Babylonian symbolism in America's like greatest, you know, uh, events like the Grammys or the Oscars. Right. They, they, it's a whole bunch of Babylonian symbolism in it. It's, it, as far as their movies, man, you know, and as far as the way they they they, they go about and handle their business, right. man, you know, they are the hammer of the earth, man, and the Lord has set them up really to bring them down, you know. But here's verse four. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying. 
come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Yeah, and that's the Lord calling up the elect, right? into those chariots, so-called UFOs, man. Mm -hmm. Like, first we gotta depart from this spiritually, and then, and then eventually the Lord, when he returns, he's gonna physically deliver us up, man. He just said, come out of here, my people, meaning come up, come up into those chariots. Mm -hmm. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities, yes, man. So, so the sins of America has reached up to, a, to the heavens, man. All right, that's why the Lord said that eyes of the Lord power is upon this sinful kingdom, man. What is sin? Transgress of the law. What does what do America push? Everything contrary to the Bible, man. You got LGBT, you got women over men, you got usury all over here, man. Oppression, all right, murdering, all death. You got good. Right. Whoredom, adulteries, right. all type of wickedness, man. All type of foul shit is done over here. And coming out of her begins now with, with the elect of uh, not joining yourself hand in hand with this place, man. With the philosophies. Voting and doing all these different things, hoping and wishing for America to go on when the when the Lord already got his America's bounds, man, which they're not going to pass. America in the so-called white man has a so uh, has a uh, time to rule, and once they hit that bounds, that's it, man. That's right. You know, and then when the Lord comes back, if you found join hand in hand, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're gonna go down with her, you know. But the hopeful elect are gonna wake up to the truth, wake up to your heritage, call upon the name of your how why your how shine, not take. The chip in the time to come to MOTB and be delivered when your Yahweh shot comes, man. While this place is being pelted from sea to shine and sea by nuclear missile fire in the fire that's going to come from those lasers from the um, so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of the Most High. Right. Verse 6, it says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Yeah, so the Lord, he, he saw I got to get double for what he did to our people, man. Right, the lynching, right, the, the, the theft of the land, the murdering of the so-called Native Americans, right, the so-called uh, Seminole Indians, uh, so-called Mexicans, how they stole this land, and right, they oppressed our people. Esau got to receive double for that, man. That's why the Lord's going to dis to totally destroy this place, man. And the ones in the, in, in the ones who died in this, like the Kingdom y'all going to have to come back and serve double in, in the Kingdom of Heaven. That's right. All these curses that's upon us going to go upon you. That's right. Deuteronomy right. 30 and 7. Verse 7, it says, how much she has glory, glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit the queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And, that, and that's the mindset of these Americans, man. You know, they feel like just, like the Most High will not judge this place. You know, a lot of people are atheists, man. A lot of, a lot of these Edomites are atheists, even two-thirds of our people. Most of them are just straight up atheists at this point, man. You know, they don't believe that judgment is going to come down upon this place, even as it's really coming down now, man. The Lord is dividing this place. It's divided. The spirit of America is falling, you know, mm -hmm. but pestilence, famine, destruction, war is going to hit American soil, man. That's right. Civil war, race war, martial law. A man should not be able to go into a city, you know, all of these different things, pestilence, all type of diseases, all type, type of plagues are going to hit this place, man. That's right. Verse 8, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, but strong is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. That's right. So the future of America is fire, man. Sure. Right, the future of this place, you know, where, where, where they got the fucking White House, right, you got these all type of arenas, you know, the, the uh, LA, New York, those big buildings over there. The end of all this is going to be fire, man, because the Lord hates this place, man. We hate this place, man. This is the land of our our, our captivity, man. This is a place that, that the, the Esau, they, they broke the majority of our people's spirit, man. All right, this place that we was lied to, saying we nothing, all right, that we were like, we're the, we the worst people on the earth. Like we, we, we don't know nothing. We, we, we the least knowledge people. But now the Lord raised up, you know, started with our apostle Elder Greg Millstone, started with Elder Albert Bimis, got us this truth. Now we know that we are the sons of the living power, man. And this place is going to be destroyed. And all the lies that Esau pushed out with this place, man. That's right, man. Verse 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore because utterly and the lord is going to just destroy this place and 
the, the nations, the people that's in the ships from afar off, they're going to see the smoke of America burning because the Lord is really going to turn this place into a lake of fire and from sea to shine and sea. The world is going to see it. For one, it's going to be a great earthquake, you know, from all the nuclear missiles pep in the ground, you know. Then they're going to see her smoke and they're just going to know it's over with, you know. The, 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 their whole system of trading is it's all done, you know. Because all these nations, they trade mostly through America. And this next verse is going to go into it. Verse 12, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. So America is known for having slaves. It says cinnamon. America is the biggest importer of cinnamon, the biggest importer of wine. This Babylon the Great in Revelation 18 is talking about America. It's straight up, man. It says oil. Mm -hmm. That's major too. Yep. That's right. Even, even those souls of men were yep. imported. America is known, is, that's what America is known for. Yep. The enslavement of these people that's on their side, you know? Mm -hmm. This book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 15 says, This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly. We're talking about here in America, man. It says that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. That's the pride of this place, man. They're dwelling carelessly, you know, they're into, into all type of, uh, of different philosophies. They think everything's going to get better, but not knowing that there's about to be coming more lockdowns you know, ahead of them, man. It says that say in her heart, I am, there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down? to lie down in, everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Because why, wow, this place is going to be destroyed, man. Are they going to see the, they going to, like the, like the brother brought out the script, they, they look in the far off, seeing the, the, the fire going up, the smoke of the torment going up, and they going to, they going to, uh, what it says, it says they going to hiss and wag their hand, man. But so they going to see this shit over here. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, we shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men in, uh, to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, the excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall neither be inhabited, neither shall it what in from generation to generation yeah so the lord he he can put the spirit on different prophets to see these visions man the lord said he gonna stir the means was representing the russians man because right, they live in that latin that land mass of the ancient uh the sons of japan that that mean that median uh, uh area over there man they're the inhabitants of that now so the lord said he gonna stir them up i had to shoot these missiles against this place man and this place never gonna be inhabited. That's the that was a, the end result that these prophets, that the prophets, our forefathers, son have seen, man. Right. The destruction of this place, right? You know? Being compared to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And when you read uh, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, it was a uh, every father made a natural uh, natural nukes rain from heaven, man. All right. So so the fact that Babylon is being compared to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah shows you that this place Babylon is going to get burned with fire and brimstone as well, man. Okay? This time the Heavenly Father is not just going to open the uh, heavens and drop it naturally, you know, so we say he, he did put that technology in, uh, in Esau's mind, all right? Uh, as the scriptures say, I've created the waste to destroy it, man. All right? So that way these devils could destroy themselves, man. All right, I got it. Okay. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16, it says, Behold, I have created the smith. Right. So the Lord put the spirit up upon those scientists, man, right. in those laboratories who come up with those nuclear missiles. Right, because, because the smith's job is to uh, create, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you got uh, uh, goldsmith, silversmith, they create items using gold and silver, man. You got the gunsmith, they create guns, man. All right, so the Lord is saying he, create, he created the smiths. So, those, so, so all of the scientists that work on, 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 on the your technology, man, to split the atoms and, 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 and all that, man. But, hey, man, their purpose, when they were born, 
they were born to uh, fulfill the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. That's right, that's right. That was their whole purpose, being born at the time they was born, man. That's right. All right. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Right. The Lord created the waster to destroy, to destroy who? That Babylon, man. Babylon the great. All right. The daughter, the virgin daughter of Babylon, America, man. All right. Which is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, man. All right. Because of the, uh, uh, again, because of the wicked philosophies that America pushes throughout the world and because of how uh, the, the children of Israel were, uh, uh, were handled over here, man. Okay. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 6 says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al and there is none else. I, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's right, yo. So the Lord, he, he put the, he create good and evil. All right, so the Lord put his spirit on those nuclear scientists to, to bring in about an a evil time, man. Right. A, 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 a time like never before. A destruction that's never seen before is about to happen to this place. Right, that's right. right. The scriptures, the, the scriptures uh, tell you how great that destruction is going to be to the point that there's going to be nobody to inhabit this place from generation to generation, man. All right, if I keep going on Isaiah 13 and verse 20, it shall neither be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in for, from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, mm -hmm. neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their uh, desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant pla uh, palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So the destruction of America is, is near, man. All right? It's not going to be prolonged anymore, man. And we can clearly see that, man. Okay? When you look into the uh, uh, into the, the news, man, all right, and you and you sift through Esau's um, uh, 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 propaganda and all that shit, man, you see it, man. It's clear and it's evident, man. Yep. All right? Babylon is, is through, man. All right? It's, it's, it was been called since 2,000 years ago in Revelation. The angel said Babylon is fallen. It is fallen, man. That's right. Now, it was been set back then. So, and, and here it is. We had in the last days. You can clearly see it, man. All right? The Heavenly Father is preparing this place to be utterly destroyed, man. Okay? Where nobody's going to be dwelling here, man, because of the sins that this place has committed, man. All right? Taking on the, uh, uh, here it is. These niggas want to say, oh, we're a God-fearing country. All right, we, we stand by God's rule. They they use the Bible to swear on the Bible. They they tell you the, the justice system is based off of uh, uh, biblical uh, uh, biblical ways, man. And then they just take all that and throw it behind their backs. What do you think the Lord's gonna do for that, man? All right, there's a judgment for that, man. Okay, that's how wicked you people are. Because the Lord would rather have hateful birds and unclean birds and devils right. dwell over in His land than you people, man. Right. The Lord gotta wipe y'all off the earth, man. That's right. You know. Real shit. That's how wicked y'all are. Y'all worse than that, man. The, the the images that you push, the things that, not not just from the government and the philosophies of democracies and and the wicked decrees. You 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 everyday people, man. Right. That's why the, that's why the scriptures say I will raise up against uh, Babylon and then that dwell in the midst of her that rise up against me, man. Because the people in Babylon rise up against the Lord too. Okay. So that's why the Lord's gonna have to send nuclear missiles all the way from the other side of the planet Earth. All right, to this side of the planet Earth to to fucking obliterate and evaporate billions of people off of the face of the earth in a matter of seconds, man. Right, right. Okay. If, if I may say, the, the elite is going to escape the nuclear <laughs> judgment. Right. Now, they're going to be scared, too, when they see it happen, because they, they, they spent generations trying to build this place up. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to be scared, and they're going to be crying and shit, too, but they're going to be able to escape. But you you average American is going to die here, man. Right. Okay? Y'all going to fall in the midst of the street. Scripts say, I will stir up the meads of, against them. Which will not regard oh. silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity upon the fruit of the womb, man. All right, so, hey, man, look, if you're not part of the elect and you live in Babylon, bro, and that day, you just already know the Lord really hated that spirit, bro. That, that got to be one of the most wicked spirits ever to walk the earth, man. That's right. Okay? In order to receive a judgment like that, man. If I also may say, uh, you remember a few years ago, 
Russia, they did a drill, like a three-day drill. They had like 40 million of their citizens go into bunkers. Yeah. So, wait, why they didn't do that in Babylon? Right. Okay. Because <laughs> it's, 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 it's already got it set up for these average, everyday Americans to be destroyed. God. If I may bring this out, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an, as an assembly of great nations from the north country. Okay, talking about Russia, man, and all of its allies. And they shall set themselves in array against her, from thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of, as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. All right, and those arrows are talking about the nuclear missiles that they're going to fight uh, fire over here to Babylon the Great, America. Okay, all right, they're not going to return in vain. They're going to be used to their fullest extent and potential. Right. Okay. So, like, you also see, I said, none shall return in vain, man. Uh, going into what the brother said, man, they're going to be shot off and be used to the fullest extent, man. No, none of those missiles and um, warheads are going to miss their mark. All right, none of them are going to become uh, uh, faulty while after they get launched, man. Okay, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to guide uh, every single of those warheads personally, all right, to, to, uh, to, his, in, to its intended target. That's right, right. Yeah. Verse 10 it says, And Chaldea shall become a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord, because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced. O ye destroyers of mine heritage, wasted, uh, raised and raised even to the foundation thereof. All right, you enjoyed the, uh, the destruction of the Lord's people. And you prospered off of it, okay? So reward her even as she hath rewarded you, okay? Because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. So pros basically America prospered off of the oppression of our people, man, okay? Your mother shall be sore confounded, which the mother of, of Babylon the Great is Great Britain, man. Okay, England, if you will. All right, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Okay, and Babylon the Great America is the hindermost of the nations. That's how you know that this is talking about a latter day Babylon. Right. Okay, because it says hindermost, which means the one that's most farthest away from all the other nations, man. Okay, which if you know anything about um, like ge uh, geology or whatever, geography of the world map, man, the fact that America is, is located in the position that's located in, all right, and it has no threats to border it, that's one of the reasons why America became a superpower, man. Okay, all right, it's surrounded by water on both sides. Okay, you got Canada to the north. All right, you have Mexico to the south. All right, um, America defeated the British and the Spanish, so that's no threat, and the French, okay, all right. And all, all the potential threats are way overseas. And America is able to um, exercise its influence and its power on a global scale. Okay? Right. So, again, America, the hindermost of the nations, this is the farthest away from the nations bordered by water. Okay? A melting pot. Okay? And free labor. Free you know, labor. That part from, from the children of Israel. Yep. You know? <laughs> right. It says, um, the hindermost of the nations shall be a, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. Okay? So the destruction that's coming to Babylon, the great America, via World War Three, okay? All right? And the chariots, that is the wrath of the Lord. Okay? Those nuclear missiles being shot over here. The, the Russians talking about they want to shoot missiles over here. The Chinese talking about preparing for war against America. That is the wrath of the Lord, man. Okay? It says... Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, which means it's going to be completely emptied out of people, man. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Okay? Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Okay? All right, so Babylon is going to receive such a great judgment that all that goeth by Babylon shall hiss and be astonished at all her plagues thereof, man. Okay? All right, it's going to be a shock, okay, to the world, man. It's going to it's going to shake the whole world stage, the destruction that this place is getting ready to, to receive, especially considering that, again, like it says in um in uh, Revelation 18, it also tells you in um, Isaiah 50, uh, 47, man, I said a queen, I am no widow, I shall see no sorrow the virgin daughter of Babylon, okay? 
Thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, the hammer of the whole earth. How is the hammer of the whole earth broken and sundered and taken, man? Okay? This is that place in the world that has never really had to um, suffer the, 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 the plight and devastation of war, man. Okay? All right? So when this place is destroyed, people are going to be shocked on a global scale, shaken up. Okay, when they see this place go up in flames. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How has, how has the, oppressive, uh, the oppressive ceased? The golden city ceased. All right, it's to show that Babylon is going to be through, man. Okay, the, uh, the, the, the hammer of the whole earth, the, 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 the influencer, man. All right, that, that went throughout the, the, the known world and just conquered it. It manipulated people and, 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 and just had everybody conform to the Babylonian way, man. I was, how, how, how you down, man? Right. How, you, how you got put out, man? Right. Especially right. after his, you know, his, his military you right. know, successes, man. And, and having the biggest military of all the nations, they spend the most money on military, on on in, on defense, period, man. Right. And since its inception, America's really been kicking ass, man. Right. Even against the Britons, you know, in the Revolutionary War. Kicked ass, man. The Spanish War, kicked ass. Against World War One. The French, kicked ass. World War One, World War Two, kick ass, man. Right. So how this place gonna go down? Now now they got nukes and all type of technology, right. Right. the space force, you know? That, that's what's gonna cause such a such a astonishment throughout all those nations too, man. Because mm -hmm. they, in their mind, they thought America was uh, uh, unstoppable as well, man. And now, right. now this shit through, you 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 got taken out. What the fuck? Because you know? the Most High got it out of that's he, right. he got it out for you, man. The Heavenly Father is bringing judgment upon America. That's what's that's what's going to be the downfall of America. Just as it was the downfall of ancient Assyria, of uh, Babylonian Empire, ancient Persia, ancient Greece. When the Lord say that's it, that's it, man. That's right. You know, I got something in Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, man. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, man. That's right. Dang. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth? How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Yep. How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Right. How is that? That's the question. This is how is Babylon become a desolation amongst the nations? Right. So that means that when you, like when things like that are said in the scriptures, that that means you gotta you have to juxtapose it to everything else. All right, because all the other nations they they've been trodden down, beat down. I'm saying, but how has this Babylon become a desolation amongst the nations? So that's letting you know that this Babylon is such a great and mighty nation that it's never really been touched or affected like that before, man. That's the last place on earth you would think this would happen to. How has Babylon become a desolation amongst the nations, man? That, that would be impossible. Okay? But, it's, but it happened, though. Who can bring it down? Who? Even right, even right now, if you look at it carnally, America should be able to uh, uh, succeed against Russia in the war. Yeah, right. right. You know? Yeah. Uh, but the Lord is going to cause all these nations to come up against her, man. That's right. And Yahweh is going to come with the chariots, yeah. man. That's, that's how you know that. That's how, that's, that's how you know the downfall of Babylon is going to be divine. Because it's going to take that father to intervene in all these nations, man. And the sin is only begotten son to take this bitch down. That's right. Because that's right. if it wasn't for that, Babylon would not have been taken down, man. That's right, right, right yeah. Verse 24. Yeah, America powerful as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babylon the Great is still powerful, man. She, uh, Babylon is still that bitch on the block, man. To, right. You know what I'm saying? Well, as far as the economy, global influence, all right, the military, Babylon still got the world by the balls, really. Yep. Okay. Right. So the Lord, that's why it says in Isaiah chapter 63, he trying to do why the wine press alone, man. Right. Right. The wrath of the most high alone. He wants the credit for it. And Russia not gonna get the credit because Russia gonna get fucked up too as well. Right. But not as much as America. Right. But the Lord is the one that's doing it. And it says it here, Jeremiah 50 and 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord has opened his armor. It has brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Abashai, of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly, 
let nothing of her be left. So this is the most highest armory, man. If you scan these nations to make these nuclear missiles to, to set themselves array against her, man. Right. To destroy her utterly. Nuclear missiles. That was the most highest idea, man. Yep, yep. Then prophesied really just before the uh, beginning of, of, of the foundations of the earth. The Lord, the Lord already planned it out, man. You know? All these nations are going to come up against this place, even those that's confederate with America. Yep. The Lord is stirring up their minds, even now as we speak. You know, hey, the, cold, the second Cold War been started. They just don't report it on the news because they talk about bullshit all the fucking time, man. But you got Russia with, with submarines off the coast of different places of, of America, man. You know? Uh, allying themselves with different allies. They all coming up against America as we speak, man. Book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 25 says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. So the Lord said he's against you, Esau, you know, man, right? That, that destroyed all the earth. And how did Esau destroy all the, all the whole, whole earth? Through his philosophy, through his military, right. through his influence throughout the earth. Yeah, kicking ass and taking names. That's it. They've been, just, they've been going around the whole kicking shit. ass, bro. Right. Beating everybody up. Big bully. It's, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. Right, that goes to show you how, how great the destruction is gonna be. This place is gonna be completely pulverized, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because, um, you know, back in the ancient world, like let's say a nation conquered another nation, mm -hmm. all right, you might take some of the stones that you overthrew some of the pillars to help go build something else up. Right. All right, that's why even now, you can still go to a lot of these ancient uh, ruins and sites and you still see bricks and stones you know what I'm saying different pillars that could be used to build things up again, you know right. what I'm saying? Whereas Babylon the Great is going to be completely uh, desolate, man. Yeah. You don't have no no piece of a, of a light pole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, a piece of a sidewalk brick that you can come in. Nah, man. All right, the Lord said he's going to uh, stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness, man. This place is going to go up in nothing but dust and smoke. And what's going to be left is going to be a, a complete desert, a dry land. And a wilderness, man. Right. That's right. Okay. As it says in the book of Jeremiah 50, as it says in the book of Revelation, as it says in Isaiah, man. Okay. All right. Then the Lord gonna bring out, uh, bring wild beasts over here to inhabit this place, man. All right. It's not even gonna be rivers. It ain't gonna be no more Mississippi River. Right. Uh, the, the Great Lakes. You know what I'm saying. All right. Uh, New York Harbor and uh, Lake Okeechobee and all that shit. Salt Lake. It should, nah, man. Right. Yo, all right. that's going up in smoke, man. The Lord said he's going to dry up all her pools, man. Right. She's going to make her uh, her rivers islands and dry up all her pools, man. Yep. It ain't going to be beautiful creatures like sheep and stuff over here. No, hateful birds, hateful creatures, man. Devils staying over here. Desert creatures over here. Right. The Lord ain't, the Lord ain't got plans to build upon America because this place is going to be a memorial. Mm -hmm. You know, just as ancient Sodom and Gomorrah is a memorial that land is inhabited until this day. America from sea to shine to sea will be a memorial for what happens when you do wickedness against the most high, man. Sure. You know, a remind, and a reminder of the, the, the power of the Lord's judgment that he came with on this day, man. Yeah. They're totally destroying this big old, this big old fucking continent. America's big as hell, man. Yeah. Lord finna destroy the whole shit. Second Peter chapter three and verse uh, verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Second Peter chapter three verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. The reason why I made you bring that up is because it says the Lord is not slack. As concerning this promise, man, and, and and these prophecies are promises, man, because what the Lord said is going to happen, man. It shall not return on some void, man. So the Lord promised that America was going to be destroyed, man. So guess what, man? You shouldn't count the fact that you still see America uh, uh, going along as the Lord putting it off, man. Nah, man, the interworkings of this shit being destroyed is actually happening right before our eyes, man. Okay? They shall build up when I was going down. That's right. The Lord. I have to say, uh, 
Terry, wait, wait for, for it. it. Yeah, that's right. As of the days of Noah, they just they gonna right. be eating, drinking, right. getting their marriage. Right. They gonna be doing their bullshit and they folly. Right. They gonna have scoffers, you know. Yep. They sell wax worse, you know. Yeah, that's all according to the plan, man. That's right. Exactly. Verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, <laughs> in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right, so that's what the day of the Lord consists of, man. All right, the elements melting with fervent heat. All right, uh, uh, the day of the Lord is dark and gloomy. That's right. Okay, with no brightness in it, man. That's what the day of the Lord is, man. Okay, that's what that's what you should that's what you should actually be waiting for, man, and actually hastening that, man. Yep. See, uh, us here at Great Milton, we're starting with the apostles on down. We actually want to see America get destroyed, man. We pray and we hope that the Lord deliver us and takes us in the, into the chariots, all right, and we see the destruction uh, of Babylon standing on top of the sea of glass, maybe with fire, only with our eyes, man. That's right. Okay? But we want America to get destroyed, man. All right? And it will get destroyed, man, by fire, man. All right? And, uh, uh, in Isaiah, the Lord said, uh, Behold, he cometh with fire, man. Mm -hmm. And his chariot is like a war wood to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, man. That's right. That's right. That's the day of the Lord, man. Right. So what the fuck you Christians got going on, man? Thinking the day of the Lord is gonna be some 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 sweet shit, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord. Right, that's exactly what it is, man. What you said earlier was on point, man. And I you know I wanna also make a correction as well, man, you know. Not most of them that's atheists. Everybody outside this truth is fucking that's right. That's right. that's right. Every single one of these fucking souls out here that refused to bow the knee to Yahweh is atheists, man. Because yeah. yeah. they don't believe sure. in God. If they believed in God, they would have been getting their shit in order, man. Sure. That's right. Okay? Yeah. And, it's going, and, and that day is going to overtake you as, as a thief in the night, man. When you least expect it, man. All right? Just like the brother mentioned in the time of Noah, when, when, the, when, the, when that rain, when that first rain drop hit, man. That shit caught them niggas off guard. I know them niggas. Hey, don't we usually be seeing Jamie doing that shit? You walk in, and then you, 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 you so happen to think a drop hit you. Jake stop everything they do. Is that a drop? Yeah. And they look, they wait. Oh, yeah, they go another drop. It's raining. I know that shit bugged them niggas out, man. Mm -hmm. And this is the same shit gonna happen to you, you, you fucking peons out here, too, man. She gonna catch you like this, man, when you least expect it. Uh, that was a, uh, um, seen a video, uh, Simpsons, man, I had put it in the chat. Uh, the motherfuckers was, uh, uh basically going into how the rap shit gonna be and shit like that. All right, and, yeah, and, uh, the scene that it showed, it was some dude in a limo with some bitch. She was like, oh, I was gonna get caught. What they was doing in the limo? Committing adultery, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they was committing adultery. And then out of nowhere, all those just souls got taken up, disappeared, and all the wicked was left behind, and everybody just started... Oh, why did I why did I do this? Or why would why did I choose to be gay? Or why did I choose to do this? So the day of the Lord is gonna catch all you niggas off guard. Y'all gonna literally be in the midst of all your folly and the Lord is gonna fucking hit y'all niggas upside the head, man. Yeah, that's yep. right. Non believers, unbelievers gonna be found in the lake of fire, man. That's right. I gotta put precept. Romans chapter three, verse three. But what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. Right. A lot of people move about with they with their wickedness and they they business, their everyday business, because they don't believe in the most high and his words, man. Right. Even though it's being preached out to them out loud, even though it's in the Bible that's sitting on their, their nightstand or their dashboard, they don't believe in it. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It's definitely going to happen, man. And it's, it's really, it's, it's happening before our eyes, man. The Lord has blessed us with, the, with his spirit, the eyes, the, with the eye sound to see, the Holy Spirit, and the spirit of prophecy, man. We and, and the spirit to watch. We're watching these things happen before our eyes, man. And these people still out here just thinking, just because they don't believe it, because they ain't been taught that all their life, it ain't going to happen. Right. Hey, that's fine, because, hey, hey, let the most two perish then that was born in vain. That's right. That's Good right. for them, bro. That's right. All right, because, hey, the Lord, as you say, what, most high got vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, mm -hmm. and he got vessels to honor. Hey, let them not believe, because that's going to make the movie even more dramatic. That's right. <laughs> okay? That's why the destruction of this place is going to be so, that's part of the reason why the destruction is going to be so mighty, man. All right, because there's going to be a bunch of people out here who is talking shit, and when the Lord come back, they're going to have to eat them words, man. Okay, so good. 
Hey, uh, uh, real, real fast. Second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Explain, man. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness. They don't want to believe your unbelief. You're just going to die in your unbelief, man. Yeah, you're still going to die. Like, right. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that shit fucked up, man. I don't believe I will die. All right. So what? Is your unbelief going to literally stop? Why well, all them people that died throughout the year, I guarantee you all them niggas didn't believe they was going to die that day, man. Right. And yeah, I still got took out, man. Yeah. Man, it makes you wicked because you don't believe, so therefore you feel like you're still proud enough to feel like you can still go ahead with your wickedness. Right. Because you're being called to repent and to do righteousness. If you do righteousness, you will live. Right. You know, but you want to continue to do wickedness and feel like you're not going to be judged for it, man. You know, it's book of Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 25. It says, for I am the Lord, Shai, I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. It shall no more be prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, see, say the word and will perform it, said the Lord. So the Lord said his what he say is gonna come to pass, man. How he speaking through the prophets, man. Are right, we selling the people, hey, martial law coming, hey, the crash of the, the, the economy, man. You're gonna lose your job, you're gonna lose your house, man. You're gonna lose everything in this society. World War III is gonna happen. And he said, Lord said, he gonna, he gonna perform it in your days, man. The Lord said, this generation shall not pass until all be fulfilled, man. You know, Ezekiel 12 and verse 26, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel, Say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Yeah, the, the not in my lifetime, ass niggas, man. That's one of the most awful shits a nigga could ever let come out of his mouth, man. Not in my lifetime. Here it is. The Lord clearly is telling you, look into the world. Here it is. The, the, the scriptures tell you, you can look into the sky and know it's going to rain. Look into the world, you'll see. That the destruction is at hand. Yep. Not in my lifetime. Nigga, that's off as hell, man. Right. And, they, and some, they claim to be Christian. They claim to, 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 to love the Lord. But then the Lord say all these signs are going to happen and he's going to make his return. But they still saying it's not going to be in their lifetime. Right. Showing how wicked they don't. They, they're wicked. They don't, really don't believe in them. Right. They don't right. care. Right. They don't care. <laughs> Shit. A couple they, weeks ago, we was at camp. Niggas talking about some, oh, well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. hey, whatever, bro. <laughs> Shit. Hey, that make, that make you appreciate the truth even more, man. Because right. you got people that's blinded like that, man. Especially when it's coming from your own people, man. Right. But it's all good, man. Because on this side, only the elect of the nation of Israel are the actual Israelites, man. That's the right. Israel of the Most High, that's man. That's right. The rest of you are fucking Greeks and barbarians. Are Americans and shit. Whatever else the fuck you want to call yourself, man. Right. right. You need okay. that because at the same time, the Lord is bringing this wrath and destruction. But he's going to restore the kingdom to Israel. That's right. You know? This ain't, we, 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 you know, we can't even get, well, we do get to the kingdom. We do get to, to the promises that's coming. We do talk about it, and they don't want that, you know? This place has to be destroyed in order for the righteous kingdom to be set up, man. Right, in which right. we will be ruling, Correct. you know? We will be on top of the heathens. We will be able to have slaves, you know? Yahawashah, who you call Jesus, the man who died for our sins, man. He is going to be ruling, man. Mm -hmm. that's, what's, that, that's what this is all leading up to. It's going to happen like that. That's when right. the destruction comes, the kingdom comes, man. That's right. right. Shit, there are, even during Noah's days, you had the sons of God that was going off. You know what I'm saying? Now this is the, this part two, but this time it's going to be fire instead. Right. Hey. <laughs> it's, 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 what you, it's what they wanted. Ezekiel 12 and verse 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied that the times that are far off. Yeah, there are people that it's not gonna be in my lifetime. You know, it's not gonna happen. You know, I'm gonna be long dead before the Lord comes. Before before what y'all saying gonna come to pass. But hey, it's coming. It's coming to pass in front of your damn eyes. Right, right. But that's how y'all felt about this. Uh, this. Right. Uh, you know, the 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 C uh, nineteen thousand man. Right. Okay. That's what. You, that's what, oh. Yeah, you know, conspiracy theories. I'm gonna be dead before that happens. Nah, that's not gonna happen in my lifetime. Boom, here you are. All right, niggas that you went to high school with. <laughs> you feel me? The niggas you went to elementary school with suffering this shit, man. Get yep. hey, the fuck out of here, man. That's why y'all need death, man. Yep. A draft is coming. Yes, you're gonna be drafted, man. Yep. Concentration yep. camps gonna be opened up. Your ass gonna be in that shit, man. That's right. All right, nuclear missiles coming. Your ass gonna be baking in that motherfucker, man. That's good, man. All right, famine is coming. You gonna starve, man. 
Okay, pestilence coming, you gonna get the pestilence and you gonna die from that shit. The chip gonna come, you gonna take it. I mean, Aga, since uh, the C19 came out, everything like when it first came out, people would say, "Oh, this is gonna lead to mandatory, you know, yeah. injections." No, nah, that ain't gonna happen. You know, it's gonna right, lead to right. passports. No, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Right, no right. passports. Everything. Everything you keep saying. Everything you keep saying not gonna happen. That's exactly what happened, bro. No, now that's not gonna happen. Did it happen? Like, just give it a couple of weeks, boom. You would think they'd shut the fuck up, right? They're in denial, you know. They're in denial. They're in a bad relationship. They're in denial about it, man. Right. You know, Esau hates you. He's bringing all these things on you. You know, all you gotta do is do a little research, man. Watch, watch, watch you know, watch a little some videos, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, man. You know, and see. That this man is coming down upon you with great wrath. But we telling you that. The so-called white man is coming down upon you niggas with great wrath, man. Yeah, right. He got it out for you. Right. You Y'all idiots, man. Because all over the world, when you go to Australia, Austria, different parts of Europe, Africa, Asia, people are turning the fuck up, man. Yeah, right. yeah. They about they, try, they about to try to flip the world upside yeah. down, man. Yeah. The sky is falling in this bitch, man. Yeah. Okay? All right? Okay? But, but it's you... you fucking peons in America that can't get it, man. But again, that's a fulfillment of prophecy because the scriptures are saying this is a city that dwelleth without care, man. Uh -huh. It's all good, man. It's going to make the, the judgment that's going to come even more beautiful, man. Yes. So that when we laugh at your calamity and mock when your fear cometh, you can actually see the ha-ha uh, letters come out of our mouth, man. That's how, that's how hard we're going to laugh. We're going to laugh so hard, the word ha-ha going to come out of our mouth. That's the exclamation point. Yeah, and then the dot going to be a smiley face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 28. Therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh Shai, there shall none of my words be for law anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord. Power. That's the point, man. None of the words of the Lord going to be prolonged anymore. But the words that the Lord has spoken shall be done, man. That's what's going down in the earth. The order you have by Simeon Shai. Okay, not your five-year plan, not your 15-year plan. No, death and destruction is coming to the planet earth. Okay, famine and pestilence. People get ready to starve to death. There's going to be no food in the stores, man. All right, people going to end up eating their children, man. World War Three. Okay, the Russians and the Chinese are gonna shoot nuclear missiles to America, man. Right. All right, it's gonna be a draft, man. Concentration camps, man. The RFID microchip, man. The Lord is coming back with fire, man. That's, That's right. what's going down in the earth, man. That's right. Okay. This book of Jeremiah, chapter fifteen, verse one. It says, "Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards this people." Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they, if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword. So the Lord got a judgment for every for every uh, one of the wicked of our people, man. Yeah, yeah. And all these people around here, man. Because like the brothers wanted to, like the scripture said, if you're not a party elect, if you're here in America, your ass going to die, man. All right? You, you, you're going to die before the news comes, or when the news comes, you're definitely going to die, man. Yeah. The elect is going to get beaten up out of here. Right. So the Lord said, you know. Right. Especially, especially. If you die, if I mean, if you make it to see the nukes, man, the Lord really don't like you, bro. All right, either the Lord gonna save you, or you part of the elect, or the Lord just really hates you, bro. Because that means that you, that means that somehow the Lord let you live through the famine, all right, through the pestilence, through all the, the race riots, through the concentration camps, the apparitions, all the plagues. Man, the Lord get spiritual power. The Lord let you live through all of that so you can eat a nuke. <laughs> he really don't like you, bro. <laughs> Lord is going to be as if a man fled from a lion. Yeah, a bear man. Yeah, God worked from the bear and the snake got him. Yeah. Right. This scripture say, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. You at the end of the world and you still don't want to do right. You at the end of the world and you're going to be joined on the wickedness. At the end of the world when the most high about to judge this place. You know? And then you're going to, so you, it's going to be manifested totally when you take the chip. So the law gonna the, the law gonna allow people to make it to there so they could be burned with fire, man. So that's so the smoke of that burning could go up forever, man. You know? They could be tormented day and night in the presence of the angels. Also also prophecy. 
somebody gotta be the ones to go into that nigga fire. That's right. <laughs> the Lord called for different spirits to go in there, man. Right. Yeah. It goes to show you, man, when the chip come out, man, all you people that's talking about, oh, I'm gonna rise up against the government, y'all niggas from the fold, man. Yeah, yeah. The fuck, the scriptures say y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna worship the image of the beast, that y'all gonna drink the wine of Babylon, y'all gonna fucking fold, man. Y'all gonna persecute the righteous that wanna stand up and, and fear the Lord, man. So that's why y'all gotta die too, man. Jeremiah 15 and verse 2 says, And it shall come to pass if they sh if, if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then shall thou then sh shall thou tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, man. So some some people are gonna go they're gonna die of famine, some people are gonna die in them concentration camps. Like right, someone you know, by the death, by the sword, the guns. All right, verse three it says, "And I will point over them four kinds," said the Lord: the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And that's the judgment of the Lord, man. All right, so that's what, that's why we tell our people to repent, because the Lord about to bring more judgment. It's in the last days, perilous times. We in those last days, the time of Jacob's trouble coming up, man. You know, that was it. Right, so uh, back up when we going into you know how these the people saying these different things is not gonna happen yet they're happening and one of the main reasons why you people uh, are saying these things is because they're different leaders the different uh, these so-called Christian uh, pastors and preachers it's, it's telling you it's gonna be peace you even got uh, these Israelite leaders telling you know people that uh, not to worry about nothing pushing the spirit of, of uh, just the build up here in America. And, and to put off the day of the Lord. This is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them, yet they prophesy unto you a false thing. So like they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. The seat of their heart, man. Yeah, man. So you, your fucking politicians, man, lying to you. Right. All right. Your pastors lying to you. Okay. Your celebrities lying to you. Your education system lying to you. All these fucking lies being told you. That's why y'all don't believe it. That's gonna happen, man. Right. It's like, it's like that movie, uh, Don't Look Up. Oh, yeah. Right. The president is fucking lying to you. <laughs> Bro, they put. They. I mean, they. If you watch that movie, that that that's how. Stupid these people are. They'll watch that movie and still not get it. Right, right, right. If you know, if you're in 2022 and you don't know that these people lie to you, you probably need a nuke, man. You're probably no good. Yeah. You know, your mind is just no good. You just need to be destroyed, man. Yeah, that's, case, that's more than likely the case. Right, man. Because you're either part of the elect or not, bro. Right. In the last days, the Lord said the elect will wake up out of darkness, bro. So, right. yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> That's the news. It's a wrap. The news. <laughs> Good one, brother. Uh, verse 15. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Uh -oh. Right. Hey, pseudo Israelite groups. You know what I'm saying? No Jacob's trouble. Right, right. Take take the take the Yabby. It's June. Ain't no it's June. Ain't no microchip. All right, man. Hey, man. A lot of you niggas gonna die of the famine, man. That's right. And of the sword, man. Y'all gonna die in martial law. Watch. That's right. That's right. They gonna take the chip. They gonna take. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you go. You coming against the men of the Lord for, for warning you? You know. But speaking the truth, breaking it down to you, going into the Greek, going into the root word of it, breaking it down. The, 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 one of the guys who helped fucking come up with the fucking uh. Microchip tells you that 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 it is what the scriptures say it is, man. And you coming up against us, you mocking us for doing it. The Lord will have you to go ahead and take it, there. Yes, you know. To make your ass sit till the news come, man. The Lord is gonna have you take it, man. And Lord say, I'll choose their delusions, man. Okay. Hey, man, y'all got delusions. Wait, wait. If y'all already got, y'all already caught up in the delusion, man. Okay. Really. Last year, one thing that last year did, man, was just show you. Everybody's side, bro. Everybody picked their side last year, bro. 2022, hey man, hopefully this is the year where they put, you know, they, they rolled out the Karagma full force, man. 
You already know these niggas gonna take it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point. They all this fucking oh, you know, John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. You know, uh, uh, you know, don't worship me, how was I? Yeah, how was I perform no miracles? You could take the yab. That's not the shit. All this other shit y'all been saying, that's basically you preparing a table for that truth, bro. Right. Okay? You just letting the world, you just letting the, the world know, yeah. and you letting your, more than likely, I believe y'all letting y'all handlers know that you yeah. just really ready to bend over and get fucked, bro. Yeah. Right. So right. that's basically what y'all got about to do. You know, hey, and hey, can't, hey, our people can't say they ain't been warned, man. Right. Okay? Y'all just gonna submit to the beast, man. That's all, man. You, you're preparing your congregation to to, uh, to fucking sell out and, and follow Esau and his and his edicts, man. Yeah. Right. Okay? Leading them as a, as a lamb to the slaughter. So that's why the leaders of the people gonna die, man. The majority, man. That's right. Yes, sir. This book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. All right, shall yeah. fall into the ditch, man. You know? Because you're teaching lies, man. In, in which those lies are going to end up consuming you. You're going to die by them, man. You know? You don't, you're not warning the people. You're not warning people of the time to come. You don't even really hear these other pseudo-Israelite groups talk about salvation. Nope. Uh, you know? They don't talk being, about Being beamed up in chariots, nope. man. Uh, you know, they don't talk about the kingdom. They don't talk about salvation. They ain't talking about the chariots. It's it's just, you know, you're an Israelite. We're here in America. That's it. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep the law. Go, keep the go, law. Go, go yeah, that's it, bro. That's how you know they've been compromised, man. They ain't got the Holy Spirit of them, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them, man. You know, the law won't allow them to teach the word in season, out of season. You know what I'm saying? The law won't allow them to come out week in and week out. Well, you know, because those the men who, who's doing that in truth and sincerity, the most high is going to take care of, man. Right. The Lord won't let them do it. He won't let them warn the people to get the blood off their hands, man. And they don't want to. They're not into that. They're into the flash. they into all that, that dumb shit, man. You know, being a, a super Israelite on Instagram and shit, you know? That's, that's what it's all about. Right. That's why the Lord been making visitations to their to they congregations, man. Yep. And it's going to be more of that in 2022. Right. It, it was more than 2020, more than 2021. It's going to only increase, it's man. Only getting, it's only getting better, yeah. You know? Hey, the elect want to get up out of here. That's right. You know? The Lord yeah. want to be of that number. We looking for the times in which Yahweh about Shemiah was going to come and save us while destroying our enemies. And we're going to rejoice in that. We want to see America destroyed, That's man. Right. That's right. You know? We were slaves over here. We oppressed over here to this day, man. Right. He were not the saints, you know? He lies against the most high. Blasphemies. He got to get judged for that. And if you don't want that, you got to be destroyed when the Lord comes. That's right. right. Yep. And the majority of the majority of these pseudo, pseudo Israelite groups don't really want that. Nope. Wasn't it last year they were talking about um, uh, Alexander the Great was, was a Jake? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they said Herod was an Israelite? Yeah, uh, Herod. No. Yeah. What? I remember that shit. Bro. That, Hey man, you niggas sold out, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all took a bag. It is what it is, man. Right. Alexander the Great is not a shape. If he was, I'd be mad. But he ain't a shape, man. That's an Edomite, man. One may be Esau himself. That nigga, he, 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 you want to put him in chains, man? You know? Don't you put that evil on? <laughs> the fuck. Hey, hey, niggas off, man. Yeah, Jake That's why they talk about saving Edomites and shit, man. Yes. You know? That's why whenever you hear them really prophesy against Esau like that, right? only Great Millstone really prophesy against Esau. That's why, hey man, you think it's, hey, Esau got his fucking hand up your sock puppet ass, man. Okay, right. y'all about to take the chip and, and, and hey, die, man, die to death. Right, the niggas institutionalized, man, and they, they begin to enjoy it. They know they sold out. They know they got 501c3s, yep. which is proven fact. Brothers ain't speculating. These things are true, you know? got videos of, of going and taking the jab, you know? Right. Lord gotta destroy you, man. You join hand in hand. Straight up. That's not join hand in hand. Right. They got 501c3. Right. They got 501c3, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Crystal Church. Yeah. I got so this Ezekiel chapter 13 and verse 3. Thus saith the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. 
O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. Right. The desert is already a desert. It's, it's already, you know, short enough resources. But you a fox, you're going to take in everything that's left of it, man. You know? Our people already desolate. Our people already down, broke as hell, oppressed. But you being a fucking fox, you taking even that from, taking whatever they got from them, man. You know, asking for their social security numbers and shit. You know, you know, having to change their they name on their birth certificate and stuff. Right, saying, oh, you don't be married to him, married, get married. With him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Buy the house. You, you, you gotta, if you don't come to the, uh, the Passover, you off. But yeah. you gotta, you gotta pay your way to get there, and you gotta pay two hundred dollars a person. Get there. Right. Yeah, been exposed. stealing money. It's been exposed. Big ordeals about it, man. And you haven't repented, man. So the judgment is going to come down for these things. Just straight up, man. And brothers have always said, if you don't repent, brothers, right. brothers of Great Millstone have always said, if you don't repent, if you don't repent, it, it, it may be electing those groups. They gonna come out. But hey, if you don't come out, you are gonna die, man. The shit is fucking off. You know, this is about. This is about repenting to the Most High and sincerely coming back to Him and walking justice and righteousness, man. You know, broken heart and the contrite. You know, hastening the day that He comes, long uh, hungering for thirst, hungering and thirsting for righteousness, man. That's Not true. the bullshit that y'all be into, man. Your filthy lucre safe, your pride. You know, flashy garments and shit. You know, gotta gotta. You know, the Lord the Lord ain't with that shit. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, and the Lord had not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. You know, so they, they got the congregation hoping in a false vision. It's something that's not gonna happen. Right. And so, supporting <laughs> supporting the bullshit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why whenever you do a, a you know whenever we do videos on these on right, these guys. Right. The whole con all, you, all these different pages pop about the blue, like the woodwork. You know what I'm saying? All, all over the comment board, a billion and one dislikes and shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the video got flagged. You get cursed out on the comment board and shit. The whole paragraph. That's why, man. Because you you don't convince people of, of the lie, man, and they willing to, to defend it. They willing to come at us to defend the lie that you talked, man. That's how blinded they are. Yeah. This dude, uh, Deshaun Whitehead. <laughs> Completely bugged out, man. You know? Uh, you got niggas mocking the name of the Lord. Right. Niggas with it. You know? It's been broke down that the name of, of Jesus has is, is not been around until the 1500s, 1600s. Been broken down the letter J, you know? Broken down that that shit is idol worship, really. It's been broken down that she came over here on a ship called Jesus. But you get the card on that name, but we can't call upon y'all while y'all was shot. Right. You mock against it, man. Right. You got whole houses with the shit, man. Right. Except for the whole houses, man. But you mad at us. But we're supposed to be standing stiffly for the name, right? It's one name about whereby we shall be saved, right? You know? The apostles got, got persecuted for preaching in the name, right? right. You know? Right, right. But you mad at us because we pointed out it, it, it's deadly serious that to know that the the karagma, it, it, you know, is the MOTB man. The, the chip is the MOTB. That is deadly serious, man. But you mocking at us. You you mad at us for 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 so fervently telling you that's what it is, man. And if you ain't teaching that's what it is, you a liar. That that shit need to be tucked down. They're not gonna do that though, man. They done made too much money. I'm saying they got too many followers. Hey, man, hey, it's going to tell you the gift of blind of the eyes of the wise that he cannot reprove. So, look, y'all, you don't want to repent. You don't want to take heed to what the brother's saying, what the apostles and elders been saying from the jump. You are going to die, okay? That's just facts, man. All right, it's not about being a, it's not, we're not taking this shit personally. All right, we're not just hating you just to hate you. Nah, man. The fact of the matter is that the Lord is bringing judgment to the earth, man. Okay? Sure. The Lord is bringing judgment to the earth. And just because you know you're an Israelite, that don't mean the Most High won't put his scope on your ass and blow you away, man. Okay? 
all the blasphemies that, that y'all done spoken, which the brothers went into, some of those, some of those, some of those blasphemies, some. those are just really the top two. There's a whole smorgasbord, fucking board, a whole list that can wrap around the block, the planet Earth, actually, a couple, a couple times. Okay. That's what we're I can get more on this if y'all. Uh, verse seven. Have you not seen a vein of vision? And have you not spoken a lying divination? Whereas you say the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore, does have the Lord power? Because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord Power. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye <coughs> shall know that I am the Lord Power. All right, so... All the false prophets, they're going to die on this side, man. The Most High is going to, uh, that's what I'm going to tell you, First Peter, that the judgment is going to begin at the house of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Because the, what's happening, that's what, uh, you know, all the ancient prophets, even Yahweh Shai, preach. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, repent. Because if if, if the Most High is going to establish uh, the kingdom of his son, which is by default the kingdom of Israel, you can't have no wicked Israelites on the earth. All the wicked of my people, of the lost people, gotta gotta be uh, destroyed, gotta be put out before that kingdom is established. Because all Israel is gonna be righteous. Mm -hmm. you no, know? that's why there's an elect. Right. You know, great male song goes into the elect. The, the other pseudo caps don't go into the elect. Right. You know? It's all about right. numbers, man. Yeah. Which goes to show you that they're making merchandise out of the Lord's people. That's why they always got merchandise and T-shirts and shit. You know, music all up on the all up on the internet because it's really about money to them, man. Women. Clearly, yeah. women got money in Babylon. Oh <laughs> yeah, there's like women she gets she get paid in Babylon. That's just it. It is what it is. That's man. the only that's the only one you need. You don't really need the men. You just go after the women and you you good. You got all the bread you need. All right, let them let them dance and put up videos up of them dancing and singing and shit. Look, man, bro, <laughs> bro. This shit's serious, bro. The sisters. <laughs> I got reason for you. This is a, this is Second Peter chapter two, Second Peter chapter two, verse one. It says, "But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction." And so it's going to be false, false teachers, false teachers. False prophets, you know, even the mother circumcision, you know, uh, bringing in damnable heresies, making lies, saying the name of the Lord don't matter. Oh, we gonna get the name of the Lord in the kingdom. Right. The Lord said they gonna call up, the elect is gonna call upon His name, and we are gonna be saved. We are gonna remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. Right. The Lord said, "This is my name for for generations, man. This is good. forever. You know, forever. This is my name forever. My memorial unto all generations, right. man. Right. My memorial, which means this is what the way I want to be remembered by. This is the way I am going to be remembered by." by from generation to generation, man. Yeah. So what are you talking about, man? Right. Okay, it's even known that uh, the so-called Native Americans, Gad and Reuben, you know, the Northern tribe that was over here, they knew the name of the Lord, man. Okay, they wrote it in the Paleo-Hebrew on, on a lot of their inscriptions. So what, what are you saying? Right. And then they scoff at that, that a video name. He wrote the name of the rock, the rock and then he was the rock, they started laughing at it. And the Lord Damnable heresy, damnable man, curse, death, destruction. Hey, remember Destiny. what happened to the Egyptian son that blasphemed the name of the Lord? That was the first person that came to mind when I was, uh, uh, out because I was watching the Apostle Mark video this morning. I was going to be in on me, uh, on that video. The first thing I read to my mind was, bro, did you not know the Lord smiting the Egyptian nigga for, for opening his mouth against the Lord? Like, bro, come on, bro. Right, right, exactly. Man. Spit that nigga, drop that nigga like a bug, bruh. Lord don't play, man. Y'all better read some, some, <laughs> some. Uh, y'all better read the uh the books of Moses on some First Samuel, Second Samuel. You know, 
fucking with the art, y'all better read, man. Put some respect on the Lord's name, man. Right. We in the time in which the Lord is born. Hey, they shall fear the name of the Lord. They shall fear the name of the Lord from the west to the rising of the sun. We in that time, man. What y'all talking about? Second Peter chapter 2, verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So you're going to have idiots following the ways uh, of the false teachers and the false prophets. You know? All right, so we got to be dismayed. We got to be moved. You know, we're happy to come up against the truth, and especially it's gonna be it's gonna be even more manifest and heavy in the time of persecution. Because hey, don't be surprised, and I, I know brothers ain't here ain't gonna be surprised at all. But don't be surprised when you see different men from these different groups coming up against the true prophets on 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 TV and shit. You know, of course, that's the point. That's the reason why they've been folding up this whole last last year, man. All them heresies that came out last year, they was just. They was just throwing in the fucking white. They was just signaling yeah. whoever the fuck they needed to signal, okay, that we ready to fold, okay, and switch up on niggas, man. That's all, bro. That's all they was saying. They denying he how side. They denying he performed miracles. You don't gotta worship him, okay. All right, you know all these different heresies, man. We don't know the name. John the Baptist was in the truth. Okay. All of these things, man. Why they? Why are these things coming out? You could take the jab, okay. The reason why they, I, I truly believe through the spirit, the reason why that happened is because when shit hit the fan and the persecution start, they want to have a back door, man. Okay, they want to have a back door, man. That's all it is, man. They want to have a back door. So don't, like the brother said, don't be surprised if you see a lot of these two on Israel, like on the television, persecuting Great Millstone, man. They, they want to distance themselves yeah. right. from, the the truth, from the truth. So they say, oh no, that's them guys. That's them guys. That's them guys. Not us. Right. Why do you think why do you think they, why do you think every time some heresy come out, Great Millstone the only one that's up against it? Prophesying it against that shit. Like teaching against the heresy. Alright? None of these other groups do that. Alright? But once it's time for everybody to point a finger at us, us, oh Great Millstone is the most wicked evil camp. Come on, man. This is this is the fucking uh the council of the elders and, and the Sadducees and the Pharisees all over again, man. So, they don't got. They don't agree on no doctrine. They doctrines right. contradict each other. They don't like each other for shit. Right. They hate each other. But when it comes to persecuting Yahusha and the apostles, oh, they best friends. They right. best friends, man. They go way back. Yeah. Right. Nah, now nah, they go way back. Right. Unity can. Right. Second uh, Peter chapter. Second Peter chapter two verse three says, "And through covetousness shall they with with vain words make mer merchandise of you." Judgment now of a long time lingereth not in their damnation, slumbereth not. You know? They want to make merchandise of you. They got these Safari t shirts, high rise t shirts. You know, they got to pay fees to, to join the kids and shit like that. Right. that, that that's wicked, man. The Lord said, I'll buy the truth and sell it now. You know what I'm saying? What you buying okay. with your time, man? Yeah. They, got, they, they, they do got it. Most likely got any order. <laughs> Quarterly, you gotta pay a certain amount every quarter to, to maintain membership. Oh, you gotta pay to go to Passover, right? You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the IUIC, right? Right. You remember, uh, you remember IUIC had the, the camp starter kit, right? Yeah, yeah, you, wanted to go, yeah. you wanted to go out as an IUIC member, you had to buy the two hundred dollar camp starter kit. Right? If you wanted to couldn't make your, you still like you couldn't make your own garments, you couldn't make your own size. No, you had to come from them. You had to pay two hundred for that shit. You wanted to watch their breakdown, you had to pay yep. for the whole breakdown. You get a snippet of it. Right, I, I remember that shit. I, yep. Bro, it was still on YouTube. You go click they, they shit, you get a fucking five to ten minute video. And then the rest, you got to go to their website. You got to click the uh, the archive shit. You got to pay for the shit. Right. right. And that's why you was shy. He used to go to the temple with a whip and whip niggas, and whip niggas asses, man, in the temple, man. Because yeah, you turn into, my, yeah. you say, my, my father's house shall be a house of, of, of prayer, but you done made it into a den of thieves, yep. all right? Doing this shit for the filthy, look, all right, the Lord got something for y'all, man. <laughs> you, 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 something else. It's bad, bro. And the bad way, too. Right. This uh, First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, 
having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Right, you know, found that you're Israelite. You know, you was excited about it. It was it was sweet in your mouth. But when it came down to really getting the true doctrine and having discipline, you know, in, in suffering, you ain't want to get with that. So you went ahead with the false doctrines, man. You know, you went ahead with, with, the, with, with the false shit, man. You know, now you're conscious seared, man. Cause you done found, since you done found out you're an Israelite, you done turned into a worse fucking being, man. You know, you worse than what you were before. Cause now you know, now you've been bought to knowing that you're an Israelite and you're the people of the Most High, but now you're doing even worse wickedness, man. You know. Hey, that's what that's what happens. That's what happens because Romans chapter one will tell you that. All right. Uh, Seeing as they would not keep the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to vile affection, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, he, he darkened their hearts, professing them to themselves to be wise, they became fools, man. So it's, it only gets worse, man. And when it really starts coming out on these guys, you're going to really start seeing the, the amount of depth of wickedness that's that's really going on in these different groups, man. All right, that's why you got uh, different accusations. All the accusations they bring up against us. You ever notice all these scoffers' ac accusations they bring against us? It's really them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all hate women and you know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all a bunch of rapists. Oh, lo and behold. Right. <laughs> the spotlight on you. The spotlight on you. It's all the Lord always flip it on their ass, and the man. Killing bitches and shit. Right. right. And oh, you guys are, are thieves and li liars. Oh, ne next thing you know, oh, they're extorting people. They the thieves and the liars. They the ones that's tyrants and shit. Alright, man. Hey man. It's all good, man. Hey, this is the Lord's movie. Alright, it's it's playing out beautifully, man. Okay. Verse here a little more. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which the most I have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of the most high is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by the word of the most high in prayer. Right, like uh, you was going into earlier, uh, Brother Brown, uh, saying you can't marry this person, you gotta marry that person. Right. You know? You got so, people, go ahead. No, you got it, you got it, brother. You got people out there saying you can't eat chicken. It, That's man. a doctrine in Israel. Yeah, bro. Chicken hey, you can't eat chicken. Hey, you can't come out your you mouth. You can't eat chicken, you, ain't, you can't eat turkey. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you can't drink. And you can't drink, and you can't dress nicely. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't ask. Right down. <laughs> Chicken and rice. <laughs> Whose mouths must be stopped. Yeah, that, right. Yeah, too, much, too much, man. Too much. Yeah, it says too much. Yeah, I got some. I got some. Yeah, that's that's what I got right here. This Matthew 24 and verse um 23. It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false and sh and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect you know so they're gonna be doing different different with signs and wonders you know uh, uh be the uh, top speaker you know elegant bringing out all this history and stuff but they, they all wicked man are they not even called on the name of the lord man you have to say if it was possible they would have deceived the very elect but the elect is not going to be this deceived by that man because the lord gave them the the, the, the harbor conquer that's the holy spirit to see through it man to, 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 to see the see the truth of this world to see the truth of the bible man that's right and that's why you have to be thankful you really have to give thanks continuously to yahweh and show your thankfulness because we we see things like how the fuck can they go for that but really it's the heavenly father giving us the, the Holy Spirit, man, Harakakudash. If you ain't got it, you don't go for the for, for the shit that seems to us like, damn, that's right in your fucking face. How could they not get that? How could they not see that this shit is wickedness, man? Because the Lord ain't dealing with them, man. That's just what it is. And only the elect is going to have the Holy Spirit. Only the elect is going to see. And the rest of the people are just going to be wicked people. Yep. The Lord ain't coming back to, to burn alive all right people. People that's gonna burn alive and starve to death and all these things is wicked, man. Yep. So thank you, how about Shmi Al Shah for the Holy Spirit. It's King David. We pray you keep this Holy Spirit upon us, man. Right. Yep. Hey, that's why I should say uh Israel had not obtained that which he seeked for, but the election had yeah. obtained it. Uh, Romans eleven verse seven says, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded. 
So, he, so the elect obtained you know, what he was seeking for, this truth, man. You know, we was in the world, you know, wondering, like, what's the name of the Lord? Why is the world like this? And the Lord, he eventually revealed it unto us, like, right? Wadi al Bashiman Shah. But the rest of our people, they're, they're just trying to search, but we're blinding them, man. You know, and they're, they're to wickedness anyway. They're not even trying to seek the Lord because the, right. the word of the Lord is out here, man. Right. You know? It's going to say, uh, a, a scorner, seeker, knowledge, find it not. That's the paraphrasing. We out here every week, you know, brothers on different platforms, on YouTube, brothers with the hottest. You know, this truth is out, man, for for years, for decades, man. But our people, they still want to walk past, uh, pull the shoulders. So they're going to die, man. The Lord is the Lord is merciful. He's going to suffer. All right. He, he, he will forgive. But our people, you know, they, they're not coming to the Lord. So he's going to forget you in that day, man. All right. Those that come to him, he shall in no, no wise cast away. But they ain't coming to the most high and not coming to him in truth sincerity. You know, we in this because we want to please the most high and we fear you. How about me? Out, shall we fear him and we want to be saved, man? All right, we want to be saved from the destruction to come, man. All right, we understand the terror of the Lord. We ain't trying, we hey, the Lord put the fear of his fear in our heart, man. And may he may he perfect the fear of the Lord in our heart, man. That's right. May he keep us in the fear of the Lord because that's how you really go, uh, be able to abide in the Holy Spirit is through the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. And and uh, the Holy Spirit, the Harakak of Dash, as the scriptures say. It's the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge and understanding, and of the fear of the Lord. It tells you that in Isaiah the 11th chapter, man. Okay? All right, so it's because we actually fear the Lord. We actually believe. All right, the Lord bless us to believe, uh, you know, the, the terrible things that he could do, man. All right, when we read the stories about Noah, man, and, you know, about Sodom and Gomorrah, about Egypt, and about all the different plagues the Lord has brought in the earth, we read it and we fear and we believe, man. That's what provokes us to, you know, to live our lives, you know, according to righteousness, to the best of our capabilities, man. All right. When you fall, you repent, you get back up, and you and you start over again. All right. That's 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 important, man. To have the fear of the Lord, man. Okay. To fear the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua. To fear the word of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua. To fear, to fear the, the the destruction that the Lord could really bring, man. The, the damage the Lord could really bring, man. The terror of the Lord, man. Okay. But the majority of our people don't have that. That's why they wax worse and worse, man. That's why we got to talk about these guys out here that. You know, coming up with these different heresies, man, because they don't have the fear of the Lord, man. Okay, which makes them lack the, co the consideration, and they just get worse, man, until the Lord take them out. Yeah, I Isaiah chapter thirty-three and verse six. It says, "In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure." That's right. Wisdom and knowledge, man. The hundred percent doctrine the ones. The ones who said true, the understanding of the Most High and His terror, the fear of Him, that's what's going to keep you, man. You know, that's going to be the stability of our times to come, knowing that the MOTB, that is the chip that they're, that they're manufacturing right now, that they're going to push out and not to take it. Knowing the judgment thereof, man. Knowing to call upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. Fearing the Most High is your treasure. Daily walking in the heavenly father, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh shot, and the angels seeing you walking with fear, repenting, you know. Praying, you know, hum, being humble, broken hearted, contrite. That's your treasure. The Most High is going to keep a soul like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's what you need in these times to come, which these other people they don't have, man. You know, and that goes into the the, the, the parable of the of, of the ten virgins, man. You have five that were wise and five that were full, foolish. They didn't have the foolish virgins didn't have the wisdom. They didn't have the fear of the Most High. You know, they didn't have the fear of what would happen if they didn't have the oil for their lamps. Because if so, they would have made sure they had the oil for their lamps before the bridegroom came, man. You know? Wisdom and knowledge, man. It, it, it's serious, man. That's why the apostles, they, they've always been serious about teaching the word the right way, man. You know, that's the truth, which cultivates your faith, man. You, but you got to have right faith. According to the truth, according to as the scripture says, man, then in your belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. And these other camps, they don't got it, man. And it ain't about banging on no other camps. It's about striving for the truth, man. You know? Defending the gospel, man. Yeah, warning the people, man. Send thy house in order and reprove thy people. That's what it's about, man. Because you niggas wrong, man. Okay? Y'all wrong, man. And, and a lot of you know you wrong, but you're too prideful to admit it, man. Okay, which that's a, that's another thing about our people. When, when, which when you read the prophets, all right, a lot of the prophets, even in uh, the time of Jeremiah, Jeremiah was approving certain kings and priests, and, and they knew they was wrong, man. 
Okay? They knew Jeremiah had the spirit of the Lord on them, but they didn't want to live. They wanted to do what they wanted to do, man. Okay? They wanted to do what the hell they wanted to do, man. All right, and that's what that's what ends up getting Jake messed up the way they get messed up because they know better, man. This book of Sirach, or Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 18, says, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. So the fear of the Lord is the first thing to be accepted of him, man. Uh, you got to fear the Lord, and then the Lord going on. He's going to suck with you and deal with you, man. The majority of our people, they don't fear the Lord, man. That's why they do whatever they want. That's why they go into these harlot houses. That's why they make up fucking uh, uh, Buddha statues and stuff and worship them, having uh, beads and shit on them. Man. All right, they don't fear the Lord, so the Lord is not accepting. All right, their their works, man. All right, all right. That's why they. That's why they ex, uh, ex, uh, extorting and taking money and, and doing all the wickedness that they do behind behind closed doors. You you clearly don't fear the Lord. You know. Like Ezekiel chapter 8, man. The, the angel took Ezekiel to let him see what was going on in the back. Ezekiel like, what? They really doing shit like this? Because they don't fear the Lord. You know? They're not signing a crime for the abominations that's done there, man. They fucking taking part of it. They with it. You know? Join hand in hand with Esau. Well, hey, we, we wouldn't be surprised, but if we saw things, different meanings and shit that goes on behind the scenes, because clearly these people, a lot of these people are sold out. Like, like literally. You know, they done took a bad. You don't fear the Lord. So the Lord ain't going to give you wisdom. You're not going to teach the right doctrine. You're not going to get it. You're going to actually come against the right doctrine. You're going to come against men who's telling you, you have to say the name of the Lord and his son. Wow. When that's all throughout the scriptures, you've got a problem with it. You know? Titus chapter 1. Titus chapter 1 in uh, verse 9 holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision especially they of the circumcision Whose mouths must be stopped. Must. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Right. The circumcision today is those who know that they are Israelites, man. Teaching false doctrines, man. Not standing up for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Subverting whole houses, you know, silly women laden with sins. You know, that, that's who you want amongst your congregation, man. To make money off of them. Or to, or to have a fucking pride about your fucking self. But your mouths must be stopped. And the Lord is beginning to stop those mouths, man. The mouths are going to be stopped, man. Because leading up to the kingdom, judgment is going to come down more and more from on high. Yahweh through his son, Yahweh shot. To, to these false Israelite groups. To two-thirds of our people who are out just in whatever in the world. To Esau, Edom, and the heathens, man. Judgment is coming down for everybody. Who ain't serving Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah? That's the times that we in, man. The Most High Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah turning up, you know. So with that, we gonna give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah by Shemi Kakudash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach us the truth and rule well. Salutation, peace, love, and blessing to the hopeful elect. Kwame Yasharala, Kwame Yasharala, the Bible Ball, Bible Ball, Shalom.